Brianna Liston's 100 meter season opener. Here is the actual race. People, she jogged the last 40 meters. I am not joking. Insane. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Go ahead and please hit the subscribe button so we can continue to grow. When you do that, hit the notification bell so you know the next video drops. We drop a video at least once a day here in Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit the like button and finally leave your thoughts. So, when you ready? Yeah, good to go. Well, first up, let's start with this. The in At the Texas Relays in the women's two four by 200 meter relay it was two and a half jamaicans who made up the team no 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 before you start to cuss okay let me explain setting in the event the women's four by 200 meter relay at the texas relay is happening and this happened today um let me try and explain what i mean first up they these young ladies set a world's best time of one minute 27.05 seconds world's best kind of like a world record but because it's an event that's not run very often they reference it as a world's best you understand hopefully you understand on the first leg it is the remarkable 60 meter world indoor champion julian alfred half jamaican of course she's really said lucian but went to high school all the high school in jamaica so of course you know jamaicans we have to take credit big up to all my st lucian friends on the second leg leg was rashida adelike awesome athlete on the third leg jamaican full jamaican lene Tava thomas on the final leg of the women's four by 200 meter um world's best relay team uh meet record and world's best relay team of course is dina asher smith whose mother is J jamaican and trinidadian and father is jamaican so yeah yeah two and a half jamaicans made up this <laughs> this team but anyway seriously speaking congratulations to these ladies running a world's best in the four by 200 meter relays awesome that time of course is one minute 27 0.05 seconds awesome now this young lady the remarkable megan tapper gets ready to compete and we just thought we'd share some of these videos of her um getting ready megan tapper is licking her but you're really tallow one of my favorites as you all know um such an awesome talent looking forward to see what she does this year remember she's the bronze, med bronze medalist from the tokyo 2020 olympic games in the women's 100 meter hurdles which of course was took place in 2021 for the obvious reason of the pandemic um the next race i think she's slated to competing is one that's stacked this of course is the zyman diamond league which of course takes place in china tapper will compete in the women's 100 meter hurdles of course alongside toby amosan the world record holder jasmine camacho quinn incredible athlete um devon charlton world record holder in the 60 meter hurdles um alaysia johnson of the united states uh digital kambunji masai russell um serena samba meila Me 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 i hope that's correct people forgive me of course megan tapa daniel williams world champion I'm looking forward to seeing what she does in that race. It's going to be dope. This takes place, of course, in the Diamond, Diamond League, which is in April. That's April 20th. Now available, Peter Lloyd World t-shirts with, yep, good to go. And bless up on the highest quality t-shirts. You can get long sleeve, short sleeve, any size and or color you choose. We have them cut for women and for men. So if you want to support the channel, keep us glowing keep us growing keep the best in sports happening get your peter lloyd world t-shirt because you royals are truly the best
So as I think many of you already know, um, Brianna Liston opened with her outdoor season with the 100 meters, her first 100 meter in about two, two and a half years, ran, ran with a plus 2.6 meters per second wind pushing her. So this is a plus wind and anything over plus two um, meters per second is not counted as a legitimate time. So the time that she ran, she came second overall. overall. These were timed finals. Uh, she ran 10.87, which when you um, calculate it, including the wind, it means that she ran something akin to 11.01, which is exceedingly impressive for her first 100 meter race in over two years. Um, it's a great way to start the season, but we didn't have the race. So we're gonna show you the actual race. Hopefully, they, I don't get a copyright, um, a copyright uh, claim. So just pray. If you don't see the video, it means that I had to remove it. Yeah. Quickly, Brianna Lyston of LSU. Brianna Lyston, LSU. Favor Philly Tiger Olympians. Now, this, of course, is my two cents. Now, hopefully you saw the actual race, and I don't have to re-edit the video. Um, she ran 60 hard. I, didn't, I don't mean she stopped running, but it looks to me, maybe it's my imagination, that she thought she eased up off the gas pedal, pedal between 60 and 70 meters. You let me know what you think. She ran an easy race and still won quite easily, won at least a meter ahead of everyone else and ran um, a, a win aided 10.87, uh, which of course is really 11.01. This young lady is phenomenal. And I mean, I'm going to keep saying it. I think we're going to see a, a sub 11 somewhere like a 10.80 from her this year. This is my opinion. I think she can probably even go faster than that. She looks in phenomenal shape. I am very happy with the, the, the coaching staff at LSU. Big up, sending hugs to all of them from, from the whole of Jamaica because whatever you're doing with this young lady, you're doing a great job. And we have to big you up for it, okay? Um, so super excited about that. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. No, you saw the previous one, but I know you didn't see the actual race. So there you have it. We had this opening uh, of her 100, uh, first 100 meter race in over two years and her first race for the outdoor season. Remember, she ran indoors. Um, she looks incredible. Now, stats here tells us that 65% of you who come to the, the, the um, channel often have not yet hit the subscribe button. Please do me, Peter Lloyd, a personal favor and hit that subscribe button. And I promise you we'll continue to improve our product to the very, very best possible. And um, we'll continue, I mean, best editing, best, best voice, best, the best of everything that we can give you. And that's my promise to you. Also, check out our new um, sports live stream. Yeah, good to go. Number four, featuring, of course, myself and the remarkable Paul Reed of the Jamaica Observer. Your royals, kings and queens. Bless up.